Angela and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be testing out Dollar Tree Halloween candies and I am so pumped guys. Like yes, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to film this video and the time is finally right, okay? I have my orange Halloween sweater on. How funny, I was just talking about my Halloween sweater yet I touched my hair like... No. Anyway, yeah, so I have my Halloween sweater on, I have my black backdrop, I got my Halloween nails, and I am just, like, so ready for this. So, the other day, I went to the Dollar Tree, and I tried to find, like, every single kind of off-brand candy that they sold. Um, I did get a few main brand things, but not very much. Like, most of it just looks super generic and very interesting. So, I feel like some of these things are gonna be a win, and then others are gonna be a complete and total fail. I don't know which is which, though. I have a whole bag just full of candy from the dollar store and we're gonna dump it out right now okay <sighs> that was so much fun let's count how many candies I'm gonna be testing here we go we have oh these are so hard dang okay well these are supposed to be candy corn sour patch kids so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten exactly 10 candies and i'm really curious to see which kind is gonna be my favorite i'm gonna be rating these all one through ten one being the absolute worst obviously and then 10 being amazing like the bomb.com so anyway oh my gosh okay so anyways guys without further ado i am just gonna get started and begin testing out these candies and i hope that you all will enjoy watching okay what should we start off with first let's do ew should I start out with these? I don't even know. The name of these are Sour Bag of Boogers and they're gummy candies. Oh my gosh. The flavors are, are you ready for this? Snottermelon, Sour Green Boogie. I hate the word boogie so much, oh my gosh. And then Lemon Loogie. Why did that really irritate me? All right, let's open this though. Here we go. We're gonna try, what is this? I don't think it says. So I guess we'll find out if it's yellow then. Oh, no, I think I got the snottermelon. Does it smell like snottermelon? Yeah, it smells like snottermelon. Okay, let's see. Ew, it literally looks like a booger. Like what even, what? Really? Okay, I'm really scared right now, but here we go. Mmm. That was actually really good. It was sugary, it was kind of tart, and I liked it, okay? I'm gonna rate these a, hmm, let's do an 8.5 out of 10. Like, I actually, I would eat it again, okay? So anyways, guys, now we are going to be moving on to this candy right here, and these are Yummy Mummies. So, it says it is white chocolate flavored with peanut butter. Oh! You know, whenever I first saw these, I was totally expecting them to just be like cheap Dollar Tree chocolate that kind of has that crunch bar consistency. But I mean, that description actually sounds half decent. So let's see. Here's what it looks like. Um, ooh, it smells good. It smells like a Reese's cup. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. What? Holy crap. I am mind blown. All right, you guys. Wow. I swear to you, I am not just saying this. These were so good that I am giving them a 10 out of 10. That was a very big voice crack there. They tasted exactly like Reese's peanut butter cups, which I love, but with white chocolate. So far, I am pleasantly surprised. Now we are going to be trying googly eyes. Yeah, googly eyes. <laughs> um, let's see, is there any description? It says, chocolatey and smooth, crisp and crunchy candy. Ugh. I have a gut feeling that I'm not gonna like these, but I guess you'll never know until you try. So I got a green eye. Do they come in different colors? And yes, they do. Very cool. I'm sure this is gonna break me out, <laughs> but it's all right. definitely not my favorite there wasn't really anything wrong with them but it definitely tasted like dollar tree chocolate if you know what i mean like it didn't really melt in my mouth um 
It was pretty much like a crunch bar in ball formation. I'd give them a five out of 10. That gets like a thumb in the middle. The other two were thumbs up. Now we are going to be moving on to these Pop Rocks, okay? And I know Pop Rocks are kind of like main brand. The flavor is Pumpkin Patch Orange, and it says orange and green popping candy. So I don't know if these are just orange flavored or if they're pumpkin flavored too. I'm kind of confused by the name. So we're gonna see what Pumpkin Patch Orange Pop Rocks taste like. My bet is that these are just gonna taste like orange, but hey, you never know. Here we go. It's too bad I don't have my ASMR microphone right now. Here we go. Oh. Mmm. So I think I'm gonna talk through the popping. Whoa, I can feel it on my vocal cord. <laughs> anyway, these are not gonna be done popping anytime soon, so I'm just gonna talk through it. I can't tell if those are pumpkin flavored or orange or what, but I feel like they're kind of more pumpkin-y tasting than orange. I don't know, they honestly just taste sweet. Like, it's very hard to describe. I think these might actually be pumpkin. I don't know, like they really don't taste like much to me. They're very sweet, it's hard to explain. So I think I'm gonna give those pumpkin patch Pop Rocks a, let's do an eight out of 10, I actually like them. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be trying out this candy corn right here, but it's not just any old candy corn. It says that it is apple pie and pumpkin pie flavored candy corn. <gasps> At first, I literally thought that it was just pumpkin pie, but girl, oh my gosh, I am so glad that I looked for specifics because I didn't even realize that it said apple pie too. Wow, okay. So I don't know which candy corn is apple flavored and which one is pumpkin flavored. But we're gonna find out in a second, okay? We have one of each. I'm gonna try this one first and let's see what it is. It smells good. That's pumpkin pie. That was good. It didn't have like the best consistency, is that the word? It didn't taste like the best quality, but it did taste like pumpkin pie. Now this must be the apple pie. Let's see. Whoa. It literally tastes like a Bath & Body Works candle in my mouth. I wish that you guys could smell my breath right now because it smells so flipping good. I just wanna breathe in people's faces right now because I smell so good. Anyway, so I am actually very impressed with these. Um, I think that they both are very accurate to their flavor names. I mean, you could tell it's from the dollar store, like the quality, but honestly, I would give the pumpkin one a seven out of 10 and the apple one and 8.5 out of 10 because it was so accurate. It was scary. Like literally, mm, I get smell my own breath and it is blissful. Okay guys, so moving right along, we are gonna be trying, I'm kind of scared to try this because of how rock hard they are, but these are sour dusted candy corn, um, orange and grape flavored Sour Patch Kids, okay? So let's give it a go. Dude, what even? Why are they cracked? These are, what the heck? They're in little pieces. Are these like expired from 1952? What is going on? This looks disgusting. Should I even try it? Like it looks like there's something wrong with them. I should probably not try these, you know? I should take a hint and not try them, but I'm insane so I'm going to. I really think these are expired. Do these have an expiration date? Cause I am fairly certain. It says Best Buy June, 2019. Okay, well, I'm scared. Here we go. All right, well, that was horrible. I'm gonna give that a one out of 10 because I couldn't even eat it. And it's funny because I actually thought that the Sour Patch Kids were gonna be my favorite, but they were my least favorite so far. So now guys, we are going to be trying these 3D Gummy Monsters. Oh, 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 I'm excited. Purple, purple, let's do purple. <sighs> wow, I was gonna try to burp, but. <laughs> It didn't work. Here's the little monster. He literally looks like an old man. Look at him. Ew. Look at this. Wait, ready? Okay, I'm done. I'm done being a three-year-old. Here we go. I bit his head off. Wow. Why do I feel so like terrible for eating his head off first? I don't know. I feel really evil right now. So to me, that kind of tasted like a gummy bear and gummy bears aren't bad, but like they're not my favorite I don't know. It was very chewy. It tasted good. It kind of tasted like a grape dum-dum lollipop in gummy formation. So 
they weren't bad um i would probably rate them a 7 out of 10 so anyways moving on i am going to be trying one of these caramel apple cups and these look interesting to me it says caramel apple flavor in a chocolatey cup so i'm starting to feel kind of sick right now from eating all this candy but we got this girl all right i'm gonna give it a go here we go here it is it looks like a reese's peanut butter cup let's try it Ooh, that smell though mm, it smells like cheap valentine's day candy and it's making me want to hurl <laughs> i don't know why i just said that i've never said that in my entire life um well if my face didn't give it away already i don't i don't really like that no it just didn't mix it didn't taste good the quality was and i personally just don't think that apple caramel and chocolate really goes together i'm rating that up let's do 3.5 out of 10 nah don't waste your money save your dollar now guys i am going to be trying one of these bon bon boom lollipops this is literally what they're called bon bon boom yeah it says intense flavor tongue painter oh so whatever color i choose is gonna be the new color of my tongue so we have cherry i'm excited does this have bubblegum yes it does oh i'm so excited all right let's try this there's no way i could not like this whoa that's peculiar so it literally has this aftertaste or after feel like you just brushed your teeth like it has this minty feel it doesn't taste like mint but it feels like not tingly but like minty i don't even know how to explain it it's weird i don't really want to finish it i'd give that a 7.5 out of 10 they're pretty good and maybe the other flavors are better i don't know anyways guys the very last candy that i'm going to be trying in today's video are these bloody bites and these are glow in the dark plastic fangs with oozing candy blood bags ew i saved these for last because i was looking forward to them the least and i knew that they would be very messy i literally have the biggest fear of blood i can't even think about it i will literally pass out i'm really not too excited about these but i mean obviously it's so fake so we're all good okay this is weird so what do you do i don't get it we're just gonna wing it okay oh ow ah ah it doesn't feel secure whoa this smells weird <sighs> oh i should do this as a thumbnail oh i'm sure you can't hear me right now but i should put this in my mouth and it'll be the thumbnail of this video the thumbnail oh okay here it is here it is ready i'm gonna look scary right. here we go okay here we go this is a hot mess i don't even want to know what i look like right now all right, that was so annoying. I like the taste of blood, guys. I'm secretly a vampire. Just kidding. I'm definitely not. Oh, I'm sticky and my hair is not on fleek. Mm, okay. Let's just do it with a bag over your hand. Okay. There we go. That bag of ooey gooey blood tasted like a combination of watermelon and apple a little bit i thought it was good and maybe a little bit of cherry too it was good um kind of sour and i think the fun factor is definitely pretty up there like it was interesting you know what i mean so i think overall i would give that probably a hmm, i'm gonna go with an eight i'm gonna be generous and give it an eight okay i thought it was fun if I had to pick a favorite, then I would have to go with the Yummy Mummies. This video is honestly so much fun to film, guys. So I really hope that you all enjoyed watching it. Definitely give it a like if you liked it. And if you want me to do this again, then I will totally do it for like Christmas and Easter. Like for every holiday where the Dollar Tree brings random candy, I will totally do these videos more often if you guys would like to see it. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know are you going trick-or-treating this year but if you're not going trick-or-treating then let me know um something fun you did this fall or that you're planning to do but anyway i love you guys and i will talk to you in my next video bye